going to try and make one and cook one quicker than it is to order one online or over the telephone. That's about 30 minutes, so I need to get a move on. So if I just set this now... I've got 30 minutes. First up, the pizza dough. I can make eight here for less than 15 pence each. So it's got to be done. Here I've got self-raising flour. I will add a bit of oregano. And I've got some fresh basil here, which I'm not going to chop up. I'm just going to break up. Eat the stalks as well, the whole lot go in. Now, most pizza dough, you need to use yeast. And yeast takes a bit of time to work. As soon as I add this yoghurt, which is zero fat yoghurt, the acid and alkali reaction in the self-raising flour gets the raising agent going. So pretty much, it's instant. So, no time wasted waiting for the dough to rise. Add to that a little touch of water. Now it's starting to come together, as you can see. And then just leave that around. This is about perfect. So that's what we're after. See that? That's starting to work already. Roll that now into a bit of a sausage. Just so on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, the pizza you want very thin, because you're going to cook in seconds, the thinner you can cook at this stage, the better. And that goes in the hottest oven you can get. This is set at 240. For 10 minutes to set it, and for it to start to rise. Just under five minutes in, 25 to go. Next up, the sauce. And instead of reaching for a jar of pizza topper, make your own. You'll decrease your salt and sugar intake, but can I beat it on price? The cheapest we found was Asda's tomato and basil pizza topper, but mine comes in at around about a third of the price. I need to get some onions on the go, and I'll cut them nice and fine, because they've got to cook in less than five minutes, so I need to get a bit of a move on. And I'm adding no salt to this whatsoever. Garlic and onions go straight into the pan, as you can see. Tomatoes, one can in juice. In they go. I add tomato paste, oregano. Longer cooking will intensify the flavour, but even against the clock, it's great. And I have a top tip for any tomato-based sauce. Here I've got vinegar. Now, this just brings out the flavour of the tomatoes and the garlic and onions. Any vinegar will do, even the cheapest malt vinegar which I've got there. Sauce done in a matter of minutes, and I've part-baked the base to avoid a soggy bottom before adding the toppings. What I need to do is put on the sauce and you just spread that out, so that's about perfect. Then we're going to add mozzarella. You can buy grated mozzarella, it's up to you. It's more expensive. Mozzarella balls are fairly cheap, but do contain quite a bit of fat. So I'm opting for the reduced fat version. It's a little more expensive, but a lot healthier, so it's worth it. And I'm only using around two thirds of a ball per person. So if I just break that around about there, that is what I can put on my pizza. And I'm just going to dot on, a little bit of basil goes on, and back in the oven. Our survey said that you liked pepperoni above any other pizza. So, I've got some here, and that's a little treat that you can have on that pizza. If you really want that meat fix with less calories than pepperoni, I have some alternatives. I do have some wafer-thin ham here. I use three slices. A little goes a long way. I've got leftover chicken here, which is just roasted. Got a bit of paprika onto there, like that. And that'll give you that sort of meat feasty type flavour profile. And that's it. Now, let me check my timer. I've got nine minutes left. Nine minutes left. Keep your fingers crossed. I think we're going to do it. I think. By the time I got them out of the oven, I was only one minute over the time you might expect to wait for your delivered pizza. Well, pretty good, I reckon. How crunchy that is. Add a few pence for oil, and this pepperoni pizza recipe really delivers on price. At only 7 26 for 8 an incredible 91p per serving. It's a bit less naughty, but nevertheless totally delicious. I'm blown away by the price. I never thought we'd get anywhere near that. A little bit of research, a bit of thought, a little bit of care, and you can produce great food. Extremely good value for money.